What's up everybody? I'm over in my side yard. I like to push all the dead grass and leaves down over this bank into the back of my property, but I got a problem where I have a couple of stumps that get buried in here. And when I come through here with the tractor, the bucket gets hung up on these stumps. So I've got an old Johnson Red chainsaw from the 70s and I'm gonna try to use it today to do some trimming on these stumps. Just a quick project to see uh, one of these old saws and, and why they still kind of are kind of useful to have around, not just junk. So this is the saw I'm going to use. I got this from my father-in-law uh, probably 10 years ago now. The blades are pretty cheap to replace and I've never, you know, I'm not going to mess with the bar. But a um, couple things on running these old saws. There's no anti-kickback lock for the, for the chain and you have to manually pump the bar oil. But other than that, it seems to run really well still and it's easy to start up. So I like using it on jobs like this where it's going to be down in the dirt. Um, saves kind of my better saws from getting destroyed. So I've got one stump here and there's one up there I'm going to chop down. So that's knocked down completely flat with the dirt. Look at this, all this mulch grass. There's just an absurd amount of earthworms over here. There's like, gotta get my, my boys down here to catch some bait to go fishing. Look at this. They're just in this stuff. Like there's probably thousands of them under these leaves. Thousands of them.
have to be a little careful pushing up to this edge because anything that goes over it can roll down into my neighbor's yard. Uh, I don't know if you saw there, I was struggling with the tractor a little bit. This dirt down here is really soft. It's mostly topsoil, uh, and we just got a ton of rain, so it's very wet. Um, and that's a two-wheel drive tractor, so it gets stuck really easy. I wish I had a better way to clear this edge out. Um, there's like an extra foot of material up against this bank that doesn't need to be there. Uh, so thanks for sticking around to see a little bit of work on the 860 tractor. Um, catch you on the next video.